John Binning with Team Dragon the May Academy. Today I'm going to be showing you monkeys swinging on a tree. So a few months back I did monkey going up a tree, which is a technique that looks like this. Now I modified this technique a little bit and changed it into a new technique called monkey swinging on a tree. For monkey going up a tree, you usually want to step lower, like this, here, and then you want to get your other foot up higher, like this. Um, the traditional way to get off of this is once you fall off of it, you kind of want to push more with your right leg, and then it'll fall down onto your neck, where you can bring it around like this, and then that's the traditional way to end it. For tournament purposes, I don't do it that way, just because it's easier to end my form at a competition. But for a monkey swinging on a tree, it's going to be a little bit harder to get off that way because you're going to be spinning in a circle while you're on the step. So for this move, you have to step here, like around. If you step here for a monkey up a tree, you just have to step a little bit higher near the middle or like right under where the middle would be. Um, obviously, you have to go into it a little bit on the angle, so if you're starting like here, you have to run over here and jump and pull with your arm backwards. So if you just run in a circle and don't pull with your arm, that's what's going to happen. But the pulling with your arm helps the momentum for your foot to go up there because if you pull it and you kind of kick, like a foot kick with your left leg, and you can catch it on the staff and pull it with you. This mount is obviously very hard. Uh, I doubt anybody will really be able to do the traditional way where you can do it like this. But if you can, that would be super awesome. I pretty much, what I'll do is I'll grab it in the middle with my right hand, right here, underneath my foot. Um, the more slanted you can get it, the better the spin will be and the longer it will be. So if you can get it like here, then you'll probably spin a lot longer. But if it's here, it'll just be like really small. Um, the longest that I've had it, I've noticed I actually let go of the staff. And it's a little bit of a time, but my foot's like here, and then the staff drops onto my foot. And that tends to get the best and longest rotations. So, I guess this is technically a combination of the two moves. Um, I'm not sure what this one's called, but it's a foot kick on the monkey staff, and it looks like this. Um, what you're doing with that is you're stepping exactly where I told you to step earlier, like about right here, and then you're doing a foot kick without the staff. So for monkey swinging on a tree, you're going to actually swing the staff where your foot would go for this thing. So you're going to swing the staff where your foot should be for the hook kick. So for example, if my foot is here, that's where the staff would be for monkey swinging on a tree. Now for a monkey going up a tree, you step and then you put your foot up about right here. So your foot needs to still be up where you need it to be on the staff, but pretend like you have another staff in your hand and that you're actually doing the hook kick with the stick, if that makes any sense. So basically, do the hook kick like normal, but drop the staff on your foot before you do the hook As you can probably tell, this technique is quite a workout, and when I'm working out, nothing gets me more pumped up than listening to some epic music. So you can check out my band Nailbite in the link in the description. If you enjoyed this video and me putting myself through this uh, intense training, uh, please subscribe and leave a like in the video. I'm John Binning with Dragon May Academy, and that was Monkey Swinging on a Tree.
Yeah!